plan cause it your divine birthright you're given back your cosmic sight at dawn of life you were so high and with the angels you did fly you now ascend a higher plane the ancient times come again Tis in the name of holy peace that all your blessings now increase. Your great abundance now comply with power of your single eye. You bless the darkness, make it right, reverse the tide and free the light. God make your power ever pure, else let the power not endure. You love and lift your fellow man and woe man and understand the master plan. For you there's simply nothing new except that which you always knew. First I spin a speed of light within without come now your sight. Mighty spirit Elohim make truth of this your cosmic dream. Yes, your eye is really single, with light your body does now tingle. Oh, your soul is so brand new, you now know all that you once knew. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All is well in the kingdom of this divine reality. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. God and Goddess Absolute <clears throat> is in the building. Welcome, beloveds. Welcome to Ascension Live. We are at resonance with the frequency of Ascension. To come into the divine remembrance of who and what we truly are. The subject today is I receive all dimensional appreciation. I receive all dimensional appreciation. I received a download earlier today and the download said I receive the infinite blessings from the all-dimensional appreciation for my being and creations. I receive the infinite blessings from the all-dimensional patience that blesses and illuminates my eternal journey. I receive the infinite blessings of the all-dimensional solution to the world crisis that is eternally resolved. So beginning with the first part, I receive the infinite blessings from the all-dimensional appreciation for my being and creations. One of the greatest empowerments that we can experience is elevating into a higher and higher and higher appreciation for ourselves. In order to have the highest appreciation for ourselves, we must understand that there are many versions of our reality and, any, and many versions of our selfhood. The reality of our being is not just the exclusivity of who we are in this physical domain, in this now moment, in this now timeline of physicality. Simultaneous to being here within this physical reality, we are also engaging in a great multidimensionality, in fact, an all dimensionality. And we want to up level our appreciation for or that is up level our appreciation by virtue of all of the multidimensional beings that are in exalted appreciation for us for our being and our creations sometimes in this physical experience we feel like we're creatively blocked and like we're not doing very much to be an expression of, of our creative ability. 
And right while we're experiencing this version of self that questions the validity of our creations in so many other timelines, in so many other dimensions, by virtue of so many other versions of ourself, we are, a, we are engaging in amazing creative expression. So we want to align our personal appreciation for our being and creations with the all-dimensional appreciation. You know, every angel, every ascended master, there are multitudinous angels and multitudinous ascended masters that are in a very up-leveled appreciation for our being and our creations. God, God is absolute, has an infinite appreciation for every one of our beings and expression of creation. It is enlightened self-interest on the part of God because each and every one of us are the microcosmic extension of God. God in crystallization of human form. So we want to up-level our personal appreciation for our being and our creations by following the example of the infinite appreciation that exists for us. Now appreciation is where we, we validate our being and we validate our creations. Appreciation is also where we up-level the value of something, like a house that appreciates in value. And when a house appreciates in value, then that house can be sold for more money. When we appreciate in the value of our being, then we are able to engage in higher resonances of ascension frequency, greater and greater and greater and greater exaltation of being. So we validate as we appreciate and we also up-level the value as we appreciate. If we're not validating who we are as a being and validating what we share as creations, then we are in a state of depreciation, like an old car that depreciates in value. And when we depreciate our worth, then we attract mirrored reflections through beings and situations that represent that low level of the depreciation of our being. But we want to engage in the appreciation of our being. I receive the infinite blessings from the all-dimensional appreciation for my being and creations. I receive the infinite blessings from the all-dimensional patience that blesses and illuminates my eternal journey. We, we want to have that all-dimensionality of patience. Patience is in alignment with the expectation of inspiration. And the expectation of inspiration knows that even if we have to wait for a little bit for the full-on manifestation of what it is that we are wanting, it's still going to happen. Our period of gestation may simply be a little bit longer, just like mama who may give birth to the baby at 10 months along the way. Even though it was an additional month than the standard nine months, the baby is still of equal value. And even when we take a little bit longer in our period of gestation to bring about the birth of our blessings, those blessings are alive and well in the womb of our soul all the way up into that time that they come into the outward manifestation. They are real even in their state of formlessness. So we want to receive the infinite blessings of the all-dimensional patience, which will then bless and illuminate our eternal journey. We are on an eternal journey. And along the course of this eternal journey, we will experience every blessing that the universe could possibly offer. 
I receive the infinite blessings of the all-dimensional solution to the world crisis that is eternally resolved. And so we want to open in receptivity to receive the infinite blessings of that all-dimensional solution to the world crisis. Every time is now, every space is here, and everyone is us. Everything that will ever come to be already exists. By virtue of the power of God within us, we want to be where we are going before we get there. I love myself as God loves me. I allow the ascension, my ascension, as the fruit of God's intention. I allow and I am joined in ascension. Absolute. I am therefore ascended. I feel my feelings as God feels within me. If it ain't divine, it ain't mine. Only what's divine is truly mine. I consecrate the ascended path upon which my feet walk. I consecrate my feet with which the ascended master walks. Every time is now, every space is here. Everyone is me, full awakening of eternal remembrance, blessing, now I be. I honor myself as God honors me. I allow my abundance as God thrives in and through me. I breathe the breath of stillness in slow motion as the kingdom of heaven that lives within me. I feel the movement of God as the movement of my breath. I am at peace with myself as God is at peace with me. I trust myself as God trusts me. I drink in the breath as the breast milk of source and my access code to infinite intelligence. I breathe life awake and light up my brain cells, alchemizing my mind into the microcosmic God mind. I breathe my way into the arms of eternity and my lifespan is the life expan of God. I allow my self-esteem as the elevation of God in me. I allow my creative expression as God creates through me. I get myself as God gets me. I forgive myself as God forgives me. I allow my wholeness as God heals through me. I enrich myself as God enriches me. I allow, I allow divine power as God's intention for me. My heart is the heart of God. My heart is the heart of Goddess. My heart is the heart of Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Buddha, Christ, Krishna, Allah, Yahweh, Wakantanka, Olod Mare, Abat Obatala. My heart is the heart of Kuan Yin, Kali, Durga, Isis, Mare, Magdalena, Oshun, Yamaya, and Goddess ad infinitum. I allow eternal love as the love of God for all through me. Rise up, beloved. Be the full reality of your divinity. Virus cancellation meditation. I, the great we, allow, receive, and eternally send forth the formless and formed reality of our sacred immunity spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and societally. We are empowered by everything. I, the great we, am invincible, invisible, and invulnerable to COVID-19, all viruses, fear, and negativity. We bless the chaos to make it right, reverse the tide, and free the light. This we do by heaven's might to thus fulfill our divine birthright that only wholeness fills our sight. We see what is needed, that our prayer will be heeded. We see it as though we've already succeeded. We are empowered by everything. We are healthy, we are whole, for this is the truth the Creator has told, and now we allow divine magic to unfold. I, the great we, am led by love, and love shall have its way with all.
This is the way of things eternal. Our wellness is co-eternal with God. We bless all those caught up in fear. fear. We bless and bless and love them free, for this is God's divine decree. We forgive those who promote fear and darkness. We know that they will come back home. Their fear burned away on compassion's throne. We are empowered by everything. I, the great we, allow, receive, and eternally send forth the formless and formed reality of infinite safety for all. We are safe. We are abundant. We are filled with love and compassion. We realize that all the wholeness, all of the wonderfulness, all of the blessings, all of the goodness of life is our own by extension. We are joined in the feeling frequency of all great realities and blessings. We are jump started by the infinite multiplication of wonderfulness. I, the great we, am heir to the mansion of absoluteness. We know that where we give our emotional attention is what we breathe life into. Let not our attention be molested by fear, worry, and unconscious media frenzies. Divine Creator, bless the dark media, for they know not what they do. Sweet source of life, guide our attention to focus upon health, wholeness, goodness, abundance, safety, patience, forgiveness, love, compassion, creative expression, a world of wholeness and all good things. We are empowered by everything. I, the great we, see what is needed, that our prayer will be heeded. We see it as though we've already succeeded. We have faith in advance, and good is left not up to chance. We invoke the spirit of fire, purge the enemy of our desire, and make the wise decision to maximize our vision. Behind the mask of COVID-19, here is the story of COVID-19, a deadly virus that's come on the scene, trying to blind us with fear and divide us with woe, but we are much stronger than this virus knows. We are born of Creator from heaven above. Our deepest being is wholeness and love, heart, mind, and soul divinely immune. Empowered we are by this would-be doom. While holding that space of six feet apart, be in your love and share from your heart. Our life is infinite as God's own breath. So don't be assaulted by fear of death. We walk down the halls of eternity. So calm down, beloved. We are safe. We are free. Let's see what is needed that our prayer will be heeded. Let's see it as though we've already succeeded. Health and wholeness is our divine birthright. Affirming this will thus heal our plight. Though things seem worse than our darkest dream, we will find our way, we will be redeemed to a world without fear and malicious control. A new paradigm is about to unfold. No mask will drive a wedge between us, won't silence our voice, won't break our trust, won't rob us of breath, won't taint our fear. Our heart mind is open, we are strong, we are clear. No matter what crisis this virus will bring, we are empowered by everything. With eyes of God, we see past the lie where sickness will perish and death will die. We come home to our absoluteness. We come home to the divine remembering of our God beingness our goddess beingness. All is well in the kingdom of our divine reality. We are remembering as we receive the infinite blessings from the all dimensional appreciation for our being and creations. As we receive the infinite blessings from the all dimensional patience that blesses and illuminates our eternal journey. We receive the infinite blessings of the all-dimensional solution to our world crisis that is eternally resolved. Thank you, beloveds, for remembering who you are. Thank you for coming home to your absoluteness. Thank you for being where you are going before you get there. Thank you for 
enjoying your victory before it is completely manifest. Thank you for appreciating the femifestation of your victory, the embryonic formlessness of your victory. In its formlessness, it is co-eternal with God, God is almighty. Thank you for remembering these truths. Thank you for coming home to your absoluteness. Thank you for being your divinity. I am Astarius Miraculi, and this is Ascension Live. And please visit my website, astarius.com. I have a, a great number of musical albums and a couple of books available there. I am available for intuitive astrological readings as well as sound healing transmissions with didgeridoo, vocal harmonics, and Reiki. I also teach Reiki. Thank you for your comments. And thank all of you who have been doing your donations. I graciously receive donations by way of Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, and a donation button on my website. And I am so grateful for the, those donations. And you show your appreciation for the things that I share. Thank you for co-aligning with the awareness that we will get to the other side of our world crisis and that we will be better for it. We will be better because of it. Not so much in spite of it, but because of it. Because we are empowered by everything. Peace and blessings.